My boyfriend doesn't respect the LGBTQ plus community. Me, F16, and my boyfriend, M17, were out for a walk in the park when we saw a gay couple holding hands. My boyfriend made a derogatory remark about them. Why would you say something like that? I had asked, and he replied, they're just disgusting. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I had always known that my boyfriend had a conservative view of things, but I had never imagined that he would be so blatantly homophobic. I explained to him that love is love, no matter who it's between and that he can't judge people based on who they choose to love. However, my boyfriend scoffed at me, clearly, not taking me seriously. He told me I was just being, too politically correct, and that he was just being, entitled, to his opinion. I had always thought that we were on the same page when it came to important issues like this, but now I wasn't so. Sure, I told him that he should not be entitled to an opinion that hurts other people and that if he couldn't accept that, we couldn't be together. I knew that I was taking a risk by standing up for what I believed in, but I also knew that I couldn't stay silent in the face of bigotry. In the end, he did not apologize for his actions and had the audacity to call me over dramatic, that I would be crazy for breaking up with him because of such a silly thing. Oopsie daisies, I made a mistake. He's not my boyfriend, he's now my ex-boyfriend. To make a relationship work, both sides need to respect each other and try their best to make it work. Assholes like my boyfriend don't deserve the beauty of love. Hopefully, he'll one day look back at this day and learn something. Remember, every type of love is beautiful. Edit. The truth is, I'm bisexual. Hearing my boyfriend say to my face that a same-sex relationship was disgusting really hurt me, and because of that, I was selfish and wanted others to comfort me and praise me. In fact, there were many other times we argued over things similar to this. There were many problems between us. I apologize for making this post out of selfish reasons. I hope you will forgive me, I will be leaving Reddit for a while even though I just started. Again, sorry. Kudos to you for standing up for what is right. If someone calls a a couple holding hands, disgusting, it isn't disrespecting the LGBTQ plus it's literally just homophobia. Our natural laws? So you sleeping in caves and eating from trees right? You don't eat burger either I suppose. You don't take medicine either am I correct? But there one more thing. Homosexuality is more than 1500 plus species have homosexual individuals in the world. Humans are not an exception. I don't niv what is natural if not the nature natural bull poop is just an explanation to yourself why you are homophobic. True, disrespecting the community is a vague term, but what you said there is a fact. There's a 50-50 chance he grows out if it through life experience or not. As a teen I was homophobic. Around 21 when I was in the army I changed, made friends, and met people who were in the LGBTQ. Now I am 30 and and I still believe love is love. Hopefully he changes, people should be able to express love to whomever. Love is the only good thing about humanity. It's crazy how PPL get upset over things that have nothing to do with them right? It's like, they aren't bothering you so why bother them? Now it would've funny if those a dudes turned around and beat his a for him being disrespectful. A queen in the making. Just wanted to see what you looked like tears of joy. Good for you girl. You did the right values and beliefs should always align with your partner. And if their values are homophobic or disgusting, then you have no business with them. To be fair, he is asterisk 100% entitled to that opinion. He has a right to that, same as anyone else has a right to their own opinion. Saying he should not have that opinion would be fine, but saying he shouldn't be entitled to that opinion would be wrong. You also 100% have the right to break up with him, and are completely justified in breaking up. That's a very valid reason for breakup, and honestly almost any reason is a valid reason for breakup if you feel it's a make or break it thing for you. But it's a very important clarification to make that. Even people who have the wrong opinion are allowed those opinions as a basic right, so long as they do not infringe on other people's rights. I can't tell you what to do. Make senior, straight all my life. Married, I am pro rainbow flag. Yup stated it perfectly, love is love. My nephew is a while no one would believe it. They finally came to terms, his parents, my wife, 
others when he married a published PhD psychologist, he is a very smart biomedical engineer, my nephew, one thing unless you are an adult is, live and let live. I am from the older generation. I was taught my profession by many wonderful, smart a women. You won't change him, I doubt it. What if you told him you suddenly had bi thoughts? Would he accept you I don't know how long? Or deep your love is if reversed, I personally would dump him. If he can't accept, a by a how will he live in a world that is changing, people coming out? So say you did stay with him, had a child, age 12, plus expresses your boy has feelings to another boy, man or a girl to other girls, women. Has a plan for us all. One can't change another's a orientation. Sad he feels this way. Op don't listen to this person. Homophobia is next to misogyny. A guy that's doesn't respect a people doesn't respect women either. You did the right thing. Bigots don't deserve what they chose not to have. Respect. You're doing a great job, sweetie. No, you. Agreed full score. Everyone is entitled to their opinion but it's not okay to hate other people because of their sexuality. Exactly. Op has every right to end a relationship wa homophobe. Homophobes and bigots are terrible people. Have a nice day smiley face. Homophobia and misogyny come from archaic religious beliefs. Homosexuality is viewed as unnatural, it's not. Men are viewed as superior, they're not. They go hand in hand because they're from the same outdated and bigoted ideology. Homophobia is just a difference of opinion, it's an opinion that gets people killed, drives people into isolation. Also Femi is an oxymoron. It's embarrassing we're still judging people on who they decided to love. Homophobia is based in misogyny. That's not me using buzzwords, but simply the correct term. What a weak argument lol. There you are putting words in my mouth. I never said you have to be LGBT to be better than I said you're not LGBT and you have no clue what we stand for. You're really sitting here trying to put up a fight that homophobia is acceptable? And calling Emmy a bigot while you're at it? Get thee out of here. I don't expect someone who thinks misogyny is a buzzword to be respectful to anyone. All this, have a nice day, stuff is honestly so cringe. Nah as a man yourself because what you're saying is basically the equivalent of saying it's okay to be racist and use racial slur because it's an opinion, even at 11 or 12 I knew like that wasn't okay and you ask me the little girl handled it right best way to get rid of something is to not allow it to exist in your space there's a reason skinhead punks are not with the rest of the punk culture anymore and it's because they became racist over time and the rest of punk culture froze them out to a point where it's near dead now. Nah bigotry and racism are two things that we shouldn't say that kind of about because the amount of problems America has a hole with those two particular things and there is only one way to fix that and it's making sure anyone who thinks like that knows they are not welcomed in society. Because it doesn't matter how TF you raised bigotry and racism are two massive issues that we need to change at least here in the states. As a Christian, this is absolutely sickening. Our beliefs in unconditional love. UN con DITIONAL. This means that race, gender, orientation, or anything else does not factor into the love he has for us. We are made in his image, and thus able to love unconditionally, just as he is. This is the love our believes in, and hiding your bigotry behind precedents that our does not stand for is the reason that people are turning away from our religion. Spreading hate through a that stands for love is downright sick, and I hope you wake up soon and realize the harm that you are doing to our religion, and the vile image you're painting of a loving. To anyone else that might be reading this, don't listen to idiots like this. They do not stand for what our believes in, and don't let them convince you that they do, or that this is what represents. LGBTQ plus family, you're all going to heaven. Don't be afraid to love each other, and don't be afraid to love a who loves you no matter who you decide to spend the rest of your life with. You are beautiful as you are, and you will be accepted as you are. Pride rainbow flag. Not accepting someone's existence due to their identity is not an opinion like what's your favorite color. Human rights are not up to debate. Disrespecting someone's mere existence is definitely cause for a breakup. Imagine if she had a friends or relatives. How would he act interacting with them? These comments man, it's like dating someone who is racist or misogynistic or just not aligned in the same beliefs you are. Why bother about what your boyfriend thinks about people? It doesn't affect you because you are straight, equals why bother about what your boyfriend thinks of people of color? 
it doesn't affect you because you are white? He is entitled to his opinion of hating LGBT people equals he is entitled to his opinion that was the best leader on guys will swear up and down that people are entitled to their thoughts, opinions and feelings, until they make you upset and then it's time to rain down on them, right? The a But save the Palestinians, huh? Why do I care about anything that doesn't directly involve me? Because if nobody gave a the world would have collapsed millennia ago. Tell me, why should you care about cancer, abuse, world hunger, third world countries going to? According to most of you, you shouldn't because why speak on something that doesn't involve you? Why stick your nose in the business of people who are suffering? And I bet you're asking yourself right now, why would you compare calling a couple disgusting to full-blown genocide? Why would you compare homophobia to something as serious as world hunger? They are incomparable, aren't they? Except you forget that people were persecuted. For their love, hung in and imprisoned because their hearts told them to love someone who had the same genitals as them. They hid away for years from people like this guy. You can't only care about the big problems in this world and ignore the ones small enough to fall. Through the cracks. You can't call yourself a good person and be alright with hatred and least I know at the end of the day that all I have is love to give to those who need it. The rest of you who think this type of behavior is okay? I can only hope your heart grows in acceptance and love. That's all the world needs.